explain. Uh, well, this is a, a a level template that I'm going to be releasing, and in some shape or form, either be the marketplace or uh, or just for free, so people can try this out and let me know what they think and see what it progresses into. Uh, and hopefully, it will help a lot of people get started with this technology, uh, just because I want to see a lot more people doing cool stuff on their TV uh, and projectors because there's a everybody's on a huge LED wall and you could have fun on even the smallest setups. I'm going to run through how it all works. So what this is doing, this whole entire setup, you have uh, an Endospade listener, which it's pretty sure it's just listening for other commands and to get the command to launch uh, Unreal Engine. And then you have the launcher, which is just sending out commands to launch stuff based on the information that is in your config file. Uh, now what your config file is saying is I'm going to go over everything real quick and then I'll actually show how to set it up so that, you know what I mean? You have a general knowledge of what it is before I'm ripping through showing you where to put things. Uh, so cluster nodes are basically how many times Unreal Engine is firing. I mean, how many times and display is firing a version of uh, Unreal Engine. And then it is creating, each one of these can create a window. Uh, so I like to think of this as, this is my house right here. You know what I mean? This is, am I coming from, uh, right now I have uh, it firing on three uh, wind, uh, cluster nodes. But generally, you could have one of these be another computer. Uh, you can have by changing the IP address from uh, not your own. And then what I generally do is when I'm going to be running a, a single screen setup, when we actually set this up. So I'm going to show you how to uh, not use some of these and to use other ones. So then that is generating a window. I like to think of the window as like the wall that you're, you're, you're putting it on and you're putting your walls uh, on your screens. You know, you're putting your walls on your window space and then your viewports uh, live inside of that. So the, the window is gonna determine what viewport is rendered in it. So what window you decide to put into, uh, onto your wall and then, uh, where is that window in relation to the top left corner of your first screen? So for instance, this first uh, window is going to take up my entire screen, my entire first screen. I have three screens connected that I'm gonna run, but then when we, uh, I actually go through everything, I'm gonna just run one screen uh, so that it's less confusing and people know how to alter the uh, project to be able to run just one screen. Uh, so that's going to give you your in-camera frustum, which we'll talk about in a couple minutes, and then your viewport, which is just your general window. And then the, here's where you set what resolution that is. Uh, I actually have my, I have a 5K IMAX screen that is running right now, and it actually is zoomed in by a little bit because I don't like <laughs> having a screen in 5k everything is super tiny uh, so and also when I want to run and display it takes a lot of processing power to you know what I mean render a 5k screen that's this big uh, it's you know it's 27 inches so then uh, within there and then so you can see here my second screen is 5k away from the uh, I'll get into the details of this. I'll go a little faster here. So it's, this is where you would put 
the distance from the top left corner of the first screen to get to the second window. So my second screen starts at 5K away from the top left corner. Now, if you had to go down or something, you could, you'd have to go here. Like if you're working with uh, an LED wall mosaic, you may have to, uh, they print out sometimes just 4K by 4K. And then you have the top left corner of the, the, the whole top of the screen is the wall. And then the whole bottom of the screen is chunks that are divided up into uh, the floating walls. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you a floating wall uh, config file in a minute that shows what that would look like in, a, in this form. Uh, so yeah, that's about that. And then, so when you go down to your viewports, your viewport is the window. That's the window. That's like, okay, I got my, I got my house up. It's my computer. It's holding everything down. I threw up my wall. That's my, my, my window node or window uh, thing. And then I got my viewport. That's my ability to see into that world. Now, where does that live and what resolution is that? So with mine, it's fairly simple. It lives uh, on, you know what I mean? It lives the same dimensions as where my, what my windows are doing. Because it's just this, it's just my iMac, an HDTV, and then my projector screen. Uh, and then if you need to offset uh, the viewport in any way. So say if you did get that LED wall mosaic and that fit, and the, it puts one lower and off to the side, you have to find out where that is in pixels in relation to whatever your main screen is at the top left. It can get a little confusing when you're dealing with like an editing window, an LED wall, three panels, two LED processors. So they're giving you two different mosaics, you know what I mean? And you're having to split all that up between all these different viewports, maybe rendering on different nodes, but that's the basics. I'll show you how to just easily put your stuff in when we are, uh, when I run through it. So then uh, you also have another viewport, which is the, what your virtual camera sees. Uh, so what end display is doing is it's taking uh, meshes, it's taking like meshes, plane meshes in, in Unreal Engine that are a virtual representation of, I'm gonna skip around a little bit, but they're a virtual representation of your screen. And it's taking this and in here, it's saying at event begin play, send my uh, assign this mesh to this viewport with this root. And then you're able to come in here and then here, so I have my iMac, my HD TV, my projector. I have my iMac, my HD TV and my projector and it's all set up just like that. And then my root generates in the center of the floor. I'm gonna show you guys how to place these uh, in a little while. So then there, and then that you follow that back to the config file and you say, okay, here's where I set what I want that to be. I could make that, I will show you the flyaway panel uh, configuration. So the flyaway panel configuration, you can see I just, I wanted VP wall, VP flyaway one, VP flyaway two. And then these are just all over the place because this is what the, the uh, what it gave me. And then also you have buffer here, uh, or you will have buffer if you're using my config file. Some of the other ones do not. This is what you use to control the quality, like the resolution buffer of the viewport. I keep it low because for just reflections and lighting, I don't think you really need too much. Uh, uh, like you don't need super high resolution. You know what I mean? You just want, you want it to be able to render better instead of having like perfect pixel uh, 8K reflections. Uh, you know what I mean? You can use a, a lesser projector or a lesser LED wall for that. 
<clears throat> so in uh, so then the last viewport is just what your virtual camera sees. So what end display is doing is it's taking those meshes and saying these are our, our, our windows into this virtual world. And then in the uh, in the in camera setting the in camera settings uh, blueprint, what that's doing is it's grabbing a cinema camera that you tell it to grab and it's putting a plane in front of that. And then it's displaying whatever it would be seeing at that point onto that plane. So that when you move your camera into the, onto the screen, it gets rendered onto the screen. And I can actually, I'll just, uh, let me. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let me just, so I'm pretty sure if I run this, I'm just going to get load this up so that I have a bit of like an example. Uh, so this is the demo level through end display. And if I turn on my controller, it should work. Uh, I have to make sure that my, I'm going to go over all this. I'm trying to just do this for quick aspect of the demo. Close this. Okay, so now you can see this is my in-camera frustum. That's my viewport. And you can see it's a little bit low resolution. There's actually a blueprint that uh, I believe Vitaly made that puts that on to uh, key command that you can add to your, your project. Uh, so, and then you can see I actually have my in-camera frustum a little lower uh, in exposure. Because it, it looks better, it just looks better. And then this will be for lighting your talent and reflections. So what it's doing is it's taking that virtual camera. So your job is to give it its best chances at mimicking what your camera is supposed to see and what that virtual ca virtual camera is seeing by changing your 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 lenses and making sure that it's the right sensor size and things like that to try and make it so it seems like that you're really looking into a real world because if you do it right it it completely fools everybody uh so these are just these are the the projection meshes i'm not going to get into that it's just too complicated um and then because this 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 is to get people started on this i don't want to answer every single question because that will be a 10-hour video and that's why there is no video on this content uh you can just leave all this stuff alone. So down here is where uh, your inputs are. So I'll show you how to set this up. But the way that we are running this is uh, Steam VR is running, and then there is a VRPN that is receiving that signal, and then end display is and uh, end display and Unreal Engine are receiving that signal and then using that data to control whatever, whatever you want, which I'll show you some features that I put into this template to kind of just, you can just pop in and change it. So the main thing that you're going to be changing, of course, like right off the bat, is your, so you have your ID. That's what's most important. So right now I have, uh, a blueprint in here it's called the uh, vive camera brpn camera tracker this comes with the template and all you have to do is put in your input id right here for your tracker and you're done and then you, your vive uh or whatever's running over the vrpn with this id will will control the camera but then you have to put in your own ip address which we're going to just go over so i'm gonna not uh worry about that right now. So then I have other inputs. Here's a tracker. And then I have button inputs, which are the buttons of the controller. Uh, you don't have to worry about that besides to change the information in it, which we will, uh, I'll just go through when I do the full setup.